नमस्कार वेलकम टू टूडे सेशन न्यूमरिकल्स ऑन दी एम ए वी आर एंड एफिशियंसी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द न्यूमरिकल्स वी जस्ट रिवाइज द फॉर्मूलाज फॉर ऑल द टर्म्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टर्म दैट इज मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज मैकेनिकल एडवांटेज इट इज अ रेशियो ऑफ लोड टू द एफर्ट्स लोड टू बी लिफ्टेड टू द एफर्ट्स रिक्वायर्ड टू लिफ्ट द लोड सो डब्ल्यू अपॉन पी हियर डब्ल्यू इज लोड एंड पी इज एफर्ट बोथ हैविंग द यूनिट ऑफ न्यूटन न्यूटन सो इट इज यूनिटलेस यूनिटलेस then second term is the velocity ratio we are velocity ratio is the ratio of distance covered by effort upon the distance covered by load in meter and meter or centimeter centimeter so it is also unitless because ratio of the same unit so it is also unitless the next one is the efficiency of the machine efficiency of machine in a percentage so it is a ratio of m to the vr Yeah, me upon V R into hundred, then we'll get the efficiency you know, percentage. When I put the values of Y M and V R, we will get the efficiency. Also, we can say efficiency is equal to output upon input, output upon input. into 100 so let us take the numericals on the mavr and efficiency so here we have taken one example the velocity ratio of a certain machine is 50 that means vr is given 50 determine the efforts required to lift a load of 1500 newton if the efficiency of machine is 40% that means in this example the data given is velocity ratio that is 50 so velocity ratio equal to 50 then the efforts required to lift the load so the load of 1500 that means the w capital w is 1500 newton and the efficiency of machine is 40% efficiency equal to 40% and we have to calculate the efforts required to lift the load of 1500 newton that means we have to find the effort p for lifting the 1500 newton load so let us start for solution so from the given data that is efficiency we can use formula of efficiency therefore first step is efficiency equal to ma upon vr into 100 so ma upon vr into 100 if we multiply it by 100 we will put 40 directly here so put the values in the formulas so 40 is equal to now ma is unknown so yam a upon now vr is given 
k into 100 so first of all we calculate ema and then by using the formula of ma we will calculate the p so ma is equal to so it is 40 into 50 upon 100 so we'll get the ema is 20 it is a unitless now we have ma is 20 and we are 50 so ma equal to w upon p for calculating this ma so w is 1500 upon effort that we have to calculate and ma we have already so put the values below this formula. So MA is 20 is equal to W is 1500 Newton upon P. So by simplifying it, we'll get 1500 divided by 20 Newton. So it is 75 Newton. So our answer is the effort required to lift the load of 1500 Newton equal to 75 Newton. So in this way we can calculate the given uh, calculate the uh, term from the given data. So here again similar type of example we have taken so in this example the velocity ratio of a certain lifting machine is 20 determine the effort required to lift a load of 100 newton if the efficiency of the machine is 25 percent so given data in this example is velocity ratio is given that is 20 then load of 100 newton so w equal to 100 newton if the efficiency of machine is 25 percent and we have to find out the efforts required to lift the load that is p so for calculating this p we required ma because w is given so ma is equal to w upon p but we don't know the value of ma so by using the formula of efficiency we can easily calculate ma and then we'll calculate the value of p so let us start from the efficiency formula efficiency equal to ma upon vr into 100 ma upon vr into 100 into 100 hai to hum 25 sidha dalenge 25 is equal to ma that is unknown upon velocity ratio is given 20 into 100 so by simplifying it we will get ma equal to that is 5 25 into 20 upon 100 that is 5 so now ma equal to 5 we know ma equal to what w upon p so ma value is 5 so put 5 is equal to w is given that is 100 newton upon the unknown term that is p therefore therefore p equal to 100 upon 5 newton 100 upon 5 newton and therefore p will be p will be 20 newton so the efforts required to lift the load of 100 newton is 20 newton 
so in this way we can calculate the unknown term by using the simple formulas in uh, next video we will discuss about the idle effort idle load then the load lost in the friction and effort loss in the friction and numerical based on the these four terms thank you for watching this video if you if you have any query then put your queries in the comment box we will try to solve it in the next video thanks for watching this video